Hello, Catherine Emery. I'm a home improvement and lifestyle expert and host of National Hardware Show's The Five Spot, where we talk to industry leaders. Today, I have the pleasure of talking to Matthew Eads. He's the founder of GrillSeeker.com, an influencer. He has a best-selling book. He's been on the Today Show. He has an Instagram page that's amazing. I had the pleasure of actually meeting him at the National Hardware Show. Welcome, Matthew. It is so nice to have you. Hey, thanks for having me on. I should hire you to be my my hype lady. That was a great uh, a great introduction. So thanks for that. Hey, I it's great show with great people talking. I mean, we got all the yeah. magic right here happening. So, so um, okay. So before we start, there's a really funny story about how we met at National Hardware Show. Was it in like 2018? So you have yeah. to tell people how how we first met. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was 2018. Um, I had gotten. Uh, it was the first year that I was at the show, and you emailed me, um, just like cold email, saying, "Hey, I'm, gonna, I'm representing uh, a specific grill company. I don't know if I can mention that or not, but uh, it was a specific grill company that you were working with, and asked me to come by the booth. And I said, "Yeah, I'd love to. I'll, I'll swing by." And you followed up a handful of times, and, and I started thinking, like, "Wow, I better, I better get to this booth. Like, this is going to get me in trouble if I don't." And uh, so one thing led to another. We, we traded a few messages throughout the day until we finally connected. And then you took me to this great party, too. You had this party at the, it was like the Elvis, like, didn't Elvis live in that room at one time? Yeah, or, it was part of the, the hotel. It was, it was, it was the Westgate that it was the room that Elvis lived in. Yes, that, it was yes, so awesome. Yeah, and the bathtub was like a, I made you hang out with me. So thank yeah. God you listened. In my public relations yeah. days, I forced you to hang out with me. But no, yes. I mean, just your site is so, you know, for anyone, you know, go online right now while you're watching this on another open Instagram, go to Grill Seeker, just see all of his great work. He's just so well-spoken. So, so um, you know, where you are as, as a, you know, well-received influencer, you represent leading brands, you know, with the book and the recipes. Tell everybody just kind of how did you get into, you know, this, this grill, um, you know, this grill world and, and kind of your yeah. evolution of Grill Seeker. Give us, give us a little background on that. Yeah, it's, um, I guess, honestly, it is almost by accident or mistake, but uh, I spent a number of years in the Marines. Uh, and then I went into the, you know, the Fortune 100 world and worked uh, for General Electric for a number of years. And I knew that, you know, I knew I wanted to get out on my own, I wanted to do something else. And I was 40 years old, and I realized like, hey, I've got to, it's time to, to move on, or, or I'm going to be stuck here forever. I wasn't sure what I was going to do yet. But um, so I, I left GE on good terms, just in case I had to go back with my hat in my hand. And uh, uh, I was just a stay at home dad for a while. And I just took care of my kiddo and I was making lunches and doing all this stuff. And I have been grilling and, and cooking over open fire since I was 12 years old. Um, so I continued to do that. And uh, my daughter said, hey, why don't you put some pictures of the stuff that you always make on the grill on, on Instagram? So we set up an account. I posted a few pictures and it started to pick up. And uh, brands started to reach out and ask, hey, would, could we send you, you know, a bottle of this sauce or this spice and can you use it? And I was thrilled. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe like this so is really cool. like people actually send me stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's how it started. It, 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 and from there, it just, uh, you know, I, I started the website and then I got the opportunity to the book and and it's just been it's been great ever since. That's amazing. When did you when did you first put that that picture online? Was it like two years ago, five years ago? The, uh, probably it was before you and I met. So it was probably 2017 is when I first started to post okay. uh, on social media about food. Um, and, and it grew from there. Cause it takes, I mean, what most people don't realize is they want instant, they want instant gratification with the social media world. Right. But like yes. as for grill seeker, what, what would you say like to brands, like wanting, you know, authentic followers? I mean, we kind of know the answer, right? It's like, it's like posting regularly and mm -hmm. I think being authentic, but I mean, I, there really is, do you find there really is truth to that? Like if you really want that, how do you, how do you draw people in? Cause you've got such a great following and I always see your comments. People are really engaged with what you're cooking and what you're talking about. So how do you kind of, how do you keep that audience engaged and coming back for more and, and getting more followers? Yeah, it's a good question. And I think that that has changed over time. Um, you know, certainly you still need to be consistent with posting on social media, um, but really it comes down to just being authentic um, and believing in the things you're posting about. And I think that just there are so many people that will post really about anything that they get in the mail for free. Um, when yeah. I started this as a 
um, as, a, as a legitimate full-time business, I, I made the promise to myself that I would never endorse any product, regardless of how much money they were offering me to endorse it, uh, if I didn't feel proud to give it as a gift to a friend or family member. And I stick to that to this day. So um, I right. think it really just comes down to being authentic, posting about things that you actually use and believe in and, and can get behind. Um, I love and, that. And be yourself. You can tell. Yeah. You can really tell. I, you and I were talking yesterday on the phone and I was like, I, I, I feel honored that, you know, we have the pleasure to be able to turn things down, which means that then people are going to turn to us and say, okay, their voice is authentic. So it's just awesome. You just, you do such an amazing job, but I must tell you, you do drive me crazy sometimes because I get hungry. Like I'll look at the post and be like, damn, now, now I want a pork chop, darn it. But there you go. <laughs> so anyway. I'm doing my job, but that's awesome. So, I influence, um, Joe. I'm an influencer. So look at that. You, boom. There you go. You earned the title. You're well, you're welcome. Yeah. So, um, okay. Yeah. So, you know, last year was a little rough, right. For everybody. Um, is there anything that you kind of took out of last year, you know, any way you pivoted your business or any like learnings that you would share with people that you might take forward now into 2021? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you've got to be flexible, obviously. Um, and we all learned that, um, fortunately for people that do what I do in the online space, um, the sort of the, if there was a, a bright spot to the lockdown, like more people were online, more people were searching, more people were cooking at home. So that was actually a help, but I certainly had to pivot. Uh, I had a second book that was supposed to have launched, uh, March of this year. Um, and we pushed it by an entire year. Um, you know, a big part of successful book launch is to be able to get out on, you know, on the, mm -hmm. on the TV show circuits and, and, uh, you know, do those morning shows and promote your book and cook on live TV and, talk about your recipes and that just wasn't possible um, with COVID uh, and plenty of people, I mean, you're familiar with this, plenty of people are doing this stuff online and, um, you know, through, uh, you know, various uh, virtual meetings, but I am like the world's least tech savvy person. So that sort of thing is just kind of beyond me. Uh, so we pushed the book for, for a year and, and uh, you know, maybe next March, uh, you'll see something really special. That's awesome. I think we need, I think we need a book, book autograph signing session at national hardware show. We're going to have to have, or maybe, or maybe we have you cook for everybody. Like I just, I'm like I signing up all that. the guests for like all sorts. We're going to have a party. Don't worry. We'll, we'll feed you and give you drink afterwards, but I love That's it. Right. So, so, so what, so what does bring you to the national hardware show? Like why, why do you go to that show? What are some things that you take yeah. away from that show? Well, for people that are in my business, it's uh, networking is, is key. And so, you know, at a show like the National Hardware Show, where there's, you know, every new product under the sun that's coming out, and specifically a lot of it involves grilling and outdoor things, right? Grilling is really my thing, but you can find, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, the latest, you know, mosquito uh, repellent or whatever thing, you know, I'm outside all the time. So those things interest me. And so going to the show, being able to meet all of those people that are, you know, creating these great products and kind of form those relationships and, and eventually they kind of work out for you. I know it's crazy the people you can meet too. I love it. I love, I love going outside where they're cooking and you're yeah. just like, I feel like I'm at like Costco, but like VIP Costco. Cause you're getting like these amazing cuts of <laughs> yeah. on like the best grills ever. You're just like, I'm oh, not even hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like and then Joe, I love that you and I too, I remember we cruised. I love the innovation, you know, where like all the new stuff comes out. It's just such a great yeah. show. Yeah, it really so, is. So what advice would you give um, to someone like that wants, you know, with maybe with a, with a smaller business, you know, like, or, mm -hmm. or a smaller brand that really wants to grow kind of their, their social footprint, kind of like what you do. I mean, we are, you already obviously mentioned authenticity, but anything else, you know, that you recommend anyone kind of wanting to get into the business or even any thoughts on like the grilling business or, you know, whatever, whatever, something along those lines that you want to wrap with. Yeah, I would say, you know, and this, this is not necessarily specific to the grilling business, but for any business, like, and I'm sure you can attest to this when you, when you go out on your own, um, you have got to be, uh, you know, you've got to be obsessed with what you're doing and you should be thinking about it at night. You should be thinking about it in the morning. You should be thinking about it all day long. What can I do to get better? And you've got to have a really thick skin because, you know, people in social media are, um, they tend to type things out in messages that they might not necessarily say in person. So you've got to have a really thick skin and, uh, take every opportunity, whether it's, you know, some a lousy comment that somebody leaves as, as a learning experience. And so, um, you know, like I said, just being passionate is number one, but you've got to have a thick skin. Um, and you've just got to be obsessed with, 
with being better every day. 100%. You know what? And it's, it's funny, like, I, I, I so agree with you. And like, even there's like a lot of haters because it's easy just to drop. It's like people that thumbs down on YouTube videos. It's like, what is wrong with you? It's like a video about right? products. Why are you, but you know, it's like so easy, but you're right. Thick skin. And I think even like to add on, like acknowledging legitimate complaints. Like I have a video where they're going nuts. Uh, it's a pressure washer for window washing and all the window washers are going nuts on me. And those are legit, right? But you know, the, the, like you said, having a thick skin is great. So, well, I am, we're so excited for just to keep watching you, following all your recipes, excited. I, I almost think we need to have a camera following you around at National Hardware Show to like <laughs> see what you look for because you do, you told me like some brands will ship you products and you'll test them out, right? And then give them feedback and they make changes based on your feedback. So. You really yeah. are. You're the grill seeker, right? You really are the grill uh, seeker. Yeah, I mean, I love it when, you know, getting new products, testing them. And I tell people all the time that want me to test a new product or do a review, um, either have to pick it up when we're done, um, or I'll ship it back to you or it gets donated to either the local fire department or the Boy Scouts, someplace local, because I feel like I can't do, you know, an honest review on a product if I'm getting it for free. So I love that. It all goes back, it all goes back somewhere. So there's never any review that you see on my website is exactly my thoughts and I don't keep any of that stuff. So, um, so yeah, let's bring the cameras around and see, see what we can, uh, see what, what new stuff we can find and give it a test spin. Isn't it, isn't it liberating? I love that. Well, your on authenticity on authenticity comes through and through. It has been an absolute pleasure. I thank the national hardware show for introducing us, so to speak. So yeah. looking forward to seeing you out there in October. And we really might need to do that book signing. I'll talk. I'll talk to the power. Let's do it. You so, tell me what anyway. you need, and I'm there for it. Yeah. So I'll see you in October. Check them okay? out. Check them out at grillseeker.com. Thank you so much, Matt. Matthew, appreciate your time. Yeah, you got it. Take care. Bye.